overshot the mark a little bit. Yeah, this is where I stopped before I rewound so I can queue it up, right? What the hell is this? Is that a cricket bike? A cricket bike. Uh, this author is insane, and we're all here for it. We love it. <laughs> At least I do. He's insane, man. Oh, it looks like Frankie's making it. Oh, I just realized. I know this is probably spoilers, but temporary, momentary spoilers. This is not very far after the beginning of the episode. I see now Frankie's got a screwdriver in his hand. So apparently he's making a cricket bike so we can go out for a ride or something. I don't know. Oh, no, this is part of the credit. Shit. So this is something we haven't seen yet, so it is a spoiler. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense. This is part of that opening uh, uh, monologue. Gotcha. So I didn't overshoot. Well, that was all pointless. <laughs> First 90 seconds of this intro. Well, now that I'm done wasting all this time, let's go ahead and go. This is uh, 530. Three, two, one. <laughs> Starfish. Yeah, we really could use a cricket bike right now. I'd be a lot more impressed with her if she predicted something that hasn't happened already 12 times already. He's a uh, destroyer of worlds. Neptune. I heard Neptune. Maybe we're going to meet Neptune today. I personally like Poseidon better, but, you know, tomato, tomato. This is probably part of the revolution. We're out of here. They're going to get caught. They're going to get caught and get got. Yeah. <laughs> We're out of here. Are mermaids really that hot? Like, you know, the best part of them is fish. So what are you going to do with all that, you know? Thanks for the recap. Reminds me, I forgot to read the, what they had covered up with the white box last episode. I'm assuming it's not important. Did they try to recruit everybody that comes past? I thought it was just the straw hats because they were impressed. Hmm. No, they'd give that offer to everybody, I guess. Y'all about to get got. Yeah, there's way too much crying and piracy. There's like 100% more crying and piracy than I thought there was going to be. Man, I thought they were going to be destroyed. Interesting. <laughs> it's what they do. Damn, dude. <laughs> You're all very colorful. Literally and figuratively. You can probably swim faster than they can row, I bet. Why do you need a bubble? You want some uh, M&M's? That's yeah, probably more likely steroids. <laughs> I see. Like I said, steroids.
Yeah, that's the good shit. I'm not impressed unless you crush it up and snort it off a knife, though. <laughs> yeah. That's how they get you. Oh, boy. <laughs> I just saw God. That's right. Well, that'll never show up again in the plot, I'm sure. Starfish is living large, especially for a starfish. Tell you what, soundtrack's on point as usual. Getting kind of a Jamaica vibe, as we should, you know. Fame is all that matters. I thought you knew. Nice sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> He's quite mad, you know. I'm quite shocked, actually. <laughs> I see. <laughs> we don't care about your grandosity. <laughs> they love to repeat jokes on this show. Typically, that's fine. In, except in the case of Sanji and Brooke. Because they've done that joke many times, right? Oh, he's a sad boy. He's a sad star. Yeah. Well, I thought that... I thought the commotion was a uh, prediction girl. Oh, shit, it's Nami. She's causing a commotion again. Again. The hell are you doing over there? <laughs> Love it. Yeah, what is going on? Man, he don't care about that. Yeah. <laughs> you've never played... You've never paid fair market value for anything in your entire effing life. Jesus. But she'll never give anybody a discount of her own, right? Her hypocrisy is astounding. They're going to shoot him in the face. Come on, man. You can't do that. Don't encourage her. Let's show no mercy. <laughs> like they said, no mercy. I thought a discount was a ripoff. They took everything for free, man. Look at Brick. He took the most. The hell do you need clothes for? Buddha? Even the, the seahorse was shocked. Oh, this Neptune, I bet. <laughs> Among other things. Is this Neptune? You know what? He looks like a Neptune. <laughs> we are unworthy. He's coming down here for Luffy. He don't need guards. You see the size of his biceps? <laughs> That's a big boy. <laughs> ha 
how would he know? We just got here. I mean, I intuited, but that doesn't mean it's, you know, it was. I'm pretty clearly Neptune. He's been drinking. Look at his nose. He's riding a hoe. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> the whale is kind of cute. What's up, old school? Snitch whale. That's the one we say, or shake, or shark, shake. That's a snitch shark. Yeah, we remember. They gave my shirt so that we would recognize him later, right? Throw a feast. <laughs> Brook cracks me up. So much fear. So it's set for him. Good shit. <laughs> Not you two, just the humans. You two aren't invited. <laughs> Hey, you saved his pet, man. The whale's not the only pet, I assume. Wait, the band-aid, I thought the band-aid went over his nostrils so that like, he couldn't use his nostrils. It looks like it's actually over the bridge of his nose. Why would it be over the bridge of his nose? See, his nostrils are below. Maybe it's just to compress so he doesn't breathe as much out of his nose. I don't know. We are here to serve. <laughs> I like your nurse outfits. Wonder why they're limping. Uh, maybe they're just uh, kind of dance walking. It's not a limp. <laughs> Chopper looks very satisfied. I have done my doctorly duty. <laughs> Chopper's my favorite boy. <laughs> he cracks me up. This is beyond the pale. Hey, man. Living large. You know, they know a lot of famous people. Shit, I just realized I forgot to put the Emperor on my uh, character. I was just going to do it just to get the name up there. <laughs> I need to remember to do that after this episode. You know, besides the government coming down, we also need to take out this caste system. Get rid of the monarchies. The Celestials, whatever, you know. All this upper world, lower world shit. <sighs> Miss me. <laughs> you know there is. Good shit. 
Who's going to take your shit back to the ship? Like I said, repeated jokes, right? <laughs> so you're going to steal from your host. Well, yeah. He's, he's going to be your host. He's inviting you to his home and you're going to steal his treasure. What an a-hole. I need to... I really need an a-hole quotient, you know? That's right. You two aren't allowed to come. Nope. Not allowed. Listen to the starfish. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa. Grandpa's even worse than old man. Good shit. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Good times. Meanwhile... This is a flying Dutchman? No, these are the people trying to escape. They're going I still think they're gonna get wrecked, of course. He powered up, right? Your little oars just ain't gonna be fast enough. You'll never see the new world. All ahead, right flank. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, wrecked. That's interesting. I wonder what that's about. The handcuffs. Does he handcuff himself because otherwise he would just destroy you in three seconds? That he so he wants it to last longer? I wonder if that's the premise. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, yeah. You're screwed. Never fight somebody where they're strongest. Jesus. He is coming for that ass. Maybe I shouldn't have had a four-leaf clover on my head. That's a Jaws reference if I've ever seen one. Look at that. Yeah. Y'all dead as hell. Yeah, bullets will work. Of course they will. He's going to eat your lobster arm with drawn butter. You're the only one here who's about that life, and you're about to get smashed. That is a lobster arm, right? Yeah, it looks like it. It's a claw arm, at least. Yeah, he's about to shatter that arm. Yeah! <laughs> That's right. Boy, that didn't last long. Imagine what it'd be like if he wasn't cuffed. Energy steroid. I have surmised. Well, shit. Fortunately, Luffy has the strength of uh, ten fishmen. He took four. Right. Why would you need a power-up for these guys? It seems like he could have handled them on, without this, right? He's just showing off. So he shortened his lifespan just to show off. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Okay, I was right. Shattered all along his dream. It's such an interesting way to phrase that. Yep. 
You could have totally taken these guys out without the steroid. You shortened your life for nothing. Dumbass. <laughs> he wants people to tell the story. Right. Which is why he was showing off, by the way. It makes a little more sense. You want to show off so that they carry the story with them. So you shorten your lifespan for PR is essentially what this was. Gutless, huh? Yeah. Who gives a shit? <laughs> this whole superior race crap. Why do you care? Why is it so important to you? Like, of all the narcissism, you know, that's just, <laughs> it's comparative, right? If you're only per if you're the only person on the, on the moon, you're the most superior human being on the moon. Congratulations. Who gives a shit, right? Not really an argument. I'm just saying, like, it just, I, I've never understood. Yeah. Oh, we're the toughest gang on the street. This block belongs to us because we're the toughest gang. Who gives a shit? <laughs> I don't know, man. But yeah. The Fishmen have had me go, going all the way back to the Arlong plot, which was the first 30 episodes, right? So this has been a very consistent theme.